I'm Nanette DeMassey of Buffalo, New York. The American Medical Association has declared racism a serious threat to public health. As direct care providers on the front lines, you see it all. Black women who die in childbirth nearly three times as often as white women. Black patients misdiagnosed in sloppy exams and sent home to die of something that was completely preventable. Not to mention the palpable frustration of your black coworkers who when they see or experience racism themselves have nowhere to turn. A good examination of racism in the delivery of care to the public must not be an exercise in generalities or self-indulgent white therapy. People are dying needlessly and evidence of change needs to show up in better numbers as a result of better care. In my three-part online series, Reckoning with Racism for Nurses, we'll help you take a look at how you personally can be a disruptor. I'll be joined by Robin D'Angelo, author of the book, White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Race, a book that spent over three years on the New York Times bestseller list. Current chairman of the American Medical Association, Dr. Willie Underwood, who successfully sued his hospital for racism to the tune of over $4 million. And Dr. Stephen Nelson, who as a white doctor serving as the head of his hospital's sickle cell unit, where almost all of his patients were black, was able to step back and take an honest account of how the distance between him and his patients showed up in patient outcomes. So who are you gonna be in the face of racism as a public health threat? To join me on Saturday, January 13th, 20th and 27th, go to eventbrite.com and use the search terms racism and nursing to find details and instructions for registering. Don't forget to check the box that says search for online events. And I will be looking for you on Saturdays in January, 2024.